So let's talk about the Martyr A1. So welcome back to another talking head video. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering the reason as to why I decided to make this video in this type of format. Well, to be very honest, the vehicle was more or less very difficult to play, and I'll explain why throughout the entirety of the video. Now, talking about the actual vehicle itself, what does it introduce in this update? Well, it is basically the latest infantry fighting vehicle for the Germans, sitting at battery 7.3. It does feature a 20 millimeter RH-202 cannon, which is the same one found on the Leopard 2K. It also has a Milan ATGM. Unfortunately, it only carries up to four missiles, and that's probably one of the biggest downsides of this vehicle itself, seeing that the missiles seem to be the only efficient way of destroying any target, even in a solid down tier. However, it does have its, uh, it has its goods ups and downs. Wow, that was kind of hard to say. I don't know why it was, but it really was. So this is a lazy Sunday for me, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize if I do slip up just a little bit. So moving further with the vehicle itself. And since every other nation has been getting their own infantry fighting vehicles, such as the Bradleys, the BMP-2Ms, even the Dardo, the Germans have been left with pretty much the Beglite ever since, well, its introduction a couple of years ago. But now we finally have the Martyr, and it doesn't really bring too much to the table. Uh, however, I understand everyone's frustration with this vehicle. I know a lot of other creators and a lot of other people out there have been saying this vehicle kind of sucks. And in all honesty, it kind of does, but not for the reason that you would definitely think so, okay? Yeah, sure, it doesn't really have great firepower. It doesn't have maybe the best armor. Of course, it's an IFV. It doesn't really have to have good armor, nor does it have decent firepower. However, I like to look at it like this. This is the introduction vehicle for the Germans, such as the M3 Bradley. We now have the M3A3, such as the BMP1. We now have the BMP2M, which pretty much exceeds almost everything in the game at to some extent minus maybe the dart with the top down missiles but we won't get too far into that itself and that seems to be something a lot of people don't really want to understand the martyr a1 is the introduction of the entire series there are up to about maybe seven to nine different variants of this vehicle spanning all the way to the martyr 1a5 one of the more obvious ones i can definitely be seeing in the near future would probably either be the a3 or even the a5 itself which would definitely bring this vehicle up to more modern standards such as better firepower thermal sights better atgm the 20 mil might even get its apds belt although from what i've seen I don't really know whether or not it's actually going to help the vehicle, seeing that the HVAP seems to be performing a little bit better from what I read anyways, but please don't quote me on that. Now, yes, this vehicle is kind of a potato. I know I'm throwing that out kind of loosely, but being very honest, this vehicle is very difficult to play, okay? Not simply because it's too slow or it has no armor, but simply because it doesn't really have the firepower. When you pair it with four, only four ATGMs, which are very good at this battle rating, once you run out of those ATGMs, you have two options. You either do one, which is protect your teammates, support them, stay behind them, repair them, use your FPE, or the second, which is run back to your cap point, assuming that it's not just a single cap point where you didn't start off with one already, just to rearm those ATGMs and go out and do it again. Now, that's a gameplay style I really don't personally enjoy, though I'm sure to those who are very patient and understand the value of supporting your own team, they can probably be putting this vehicle to very good use, although it really depends on the player. And speaking about being useful, this vehicle excels in one area, at least from what I've noticed, and that is knocking down aircraft. That's right, helicopters at this tier are incredibly common. The H1G is a huge nuisance, and this vehicle does a very good job at knocking them out because you have a plus 65 degrees of vertical guidance, 
And while at the same time, you also have minus 17. So this vehicle can equally hold down in a nice hilly spot and definitely use that ATGM to knock out targets at a good distance. And did I forget to mention, this also has a laser rangefinder. I don't really know why you would want to use a laser rangefinder on an auto cannon, but I mean, anything beyond maybe 200 meters, you don't really want to engage with that gun unless it's a light vehicle, an SPAA, or even... As I said before, a light aircraft, helicopter, jet, prop, anything else for that matter. And the cool thing is, for some reason, I have been getting so many down tiers in this vehicle. It's absolutely nuts how awesome it is to get those down tiers. Whereas in some of the clips you're seeing right here, I did mostly play up tier. But let's be honest here, even in a full down tier, it's a vehicle you'll definitely want to use very, very sparingly and very, very cautiously. And so with everything being said... I understand why many people, many creators, many of those I personally speak to don't really enjoy this vehicle very much. It is the bare bones for the Germans. Is it really on par with the Dardo, the BMP, the Bradleys? No. In fact, I would even go as far as to say that the Warrior is probably better than this vehicle given its much better firepower, its thermal sights, its similar mobility for the most part. However, I understand this is the first vehicle and more will be coming in the very near future. Will it enhance the efficiency of this vehicle? That really remains to be seen. So would I recommend this vehicle to the average person? Maybe to flesh out your 7.3 lineup, which is very good right now. I mean, you have, if you do, if you still have this vehicle, the Panther 2, the Leopard 1, the BMP 1, the M48C, a couple of ME262s, and then you have this vehicle and a premium one, the MKPZ M47G, which is also a very fantastic vehicle for this battle rating. So again, would I recommend this as a solo run to vehicle? Probably not. In fact, let's just say it's easy to forget this vehicle. However, that's probably something I'll leave off to you guys. If you want to go ahead and tell me down in the comment section below, as always, maybe my Discord, maybe my Twitter. You are all more than welcome to definitely check those out and definitely let me know what you think about the vehicle itself. So that's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys did enjoy this talking head video. Uh, I have a lot of work I still need to go ahead and knock out for the upcoming video, which will be a Chinese related vehicle, which I'm sure you guys are probably going to be looking forward to because it has been completely ruining 8.0 around there. I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy everything and I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.